Check it out. Ah! Well, what's the matter? What the hell is that? A killer robot monster? Ah! Stewie, relax. No, Brian, you keep that thing away from me. Is it, is it looking at me? Can it see me? <laughs> Man, you're really scared of this thing, huh? Ah! Cherry? Another cherry? Ah! Oh, what was I worried about? Ah, 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 oh God, ah, ah. A lot of you might be wondering why are you even covering this as like weird YouTube drama. I think that it's more than uh, just drama because we're talking about direct calls from a content creator who has 5 million subscribers known as Jack Films to have someone with 25 million subscribers known as SS Sniper Wolf suspended and deplatformed from the from the from YouTube, how did we get here? I don't. One person is a, a lazy React channel who uh, has been widely criticized in uh, their content collection methodology, not getting giving credit to the original creators, reusing clips, all this kind of stuff. Um, that's that's all I've ever known of this woman. Okay. Well, over the weekend, she ended up getting fed up with the criticism that this other YouTuber was giving her. And she showed up at the dude's house and live streamed the front of it to her many millions of Instagram followers. Uh, a soft docs at, at the least. Um, and many people are saying it doesn't really matter. It's close enough. Look, uh, from what I found, I have not found any evidence um, that she showed like the house number or something like that. However, it really doesn't matter. Uh, this is putting YouTube in a extremely precarious situation. This is a creator who um, is directly promoted by them. And, and really, they probably should ban her. I mean, this is somebody with a criminal past. Um, not that people can't be reformed, but a criminal past who then also uh, showed up at somebody's house and uh, in an attempt to intimidate them. I want to be very clear too and say, had this situation been reversed, had Jack, the mail creator, showed up at her home, he would have already been banned. So why is this important? Well, it's because this individual, again, after, of, again, after being promoted directly by YouTube, um, she's the greatest creator ever. 35 million subscribers, and all she does is sit in front of the camera and watch other people's TikToks and make, I'm going to guess, $5 million a month, roughly. Maybe, well, no, uh, probably close to a million dollars a month. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's kid content. Kids love it because it's easy. It's compilation videos plus a pretty face, or at least some people think it's pretty. Uh, but things, again are pretty spicy. So over the weekend, I saw these two individuals uh, um, uh, trending. And what you're seeing here is some pretty interesting things. Uh, if you go to this Jack Films channel, you can see his second channel is almost exclusively dunking on Sniper Wolf, uh, at least recently. And he looks to be having a lot of success with that, and I'm happy for him for it. Um, at least this is like actually interesting content. And it's also a channel with 500,000 subscribers. His main channel very rarely makes, you know, more rarely makes videos about Sniper Wolf, but definitely does. And his main channel has 5 million subscribers. Well, this video, which came out over the weekend, Sniper Wolf came to our house last night. It's time for YouTube to step in. Now, this is where there is some nuance here that I, I feel like is interesting to discuss because we're talking about deplatforming. We're talking about a huge YouTuber demanding another YouTuber be deplatformed. I already talked about, and I want to reiterate that it is absolutely my opinion that if he had shown up at her house, he'd already be banned. Um, she broadcasts the front of his house and says, oh, like, let's talk. You could see this. Um, 400 videos online dunking on someone wanting to talk IRL goes too far. Modern men are an actual joke. That's what she's saying about Jack. Well, 
the the fact of the matter is her, her reaction to being called out for her behavior, I guess, is what's hilarious to me too, because she's saying, Oh, I was just I just showed up. It, it was no big deal. I was just showing up and live streaming it to my five million Instagram followers at the time. Um if she wanted to talk to him, I'm sure she could have called him. I'm sure she could have scheduled an appointment. I'm sure she could have DM'd him. I'm sure she could have made a video saying, let's meet and talk. I'm sure she could have done all these things, but that's not what she wanted to do. Um, now, both of them are hamming it up for uh, clicks and subs and all that kind of stuff. And, and that's fine. I hope Jack gets a lot of subs new subscribers for this because I think he's been a loud uh, voice pointing out problems with React content. Um, she then responds by saying, uh, accusing me of doxing is defamation. It actually isn't. Um, I have no idea how to dox. He literally posted his address on Google and I said, and said, I threatened him and doxed him. To which he replied, you posted a video tonight on, uh, of your outside. Wait, you posted a video tonight of you outside our home to your 5 million followers to see. Oh, my wife and I were inside. I can't make it any simpler than that. If it's not doxing, why did you delete it? I, I mean, again, it's at least a soft dox. I'll say, you know, pictures. I mean, nowadays the the um, expectation of privacy for internet personalities is near zero. Um, anyone, I mean, look at what the he will not divide us people. All they needed is like jets in the sky, and they figured out where a flag was in the middle of a field. Okay, if people want to find you then they'd find you. But what's interesting is all these people now are just saying it's time to have this person banned completely from the platform. Now, they really want her banned because of they don't like her content, stuff like that. Uh, but now this, be or they, that may have been before, sorry. But now, again, uh, shows up. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's hamming it up a little bit here. I doubt he's actually afraid of some, you know, little chick with, you know, uh, collagen lips and all this kind of stuff. But again, showing up outside someone's house at what appears to, I don't know if this is 10 minutes or 10 at night. Goading me with the line, let's talk like adults. In my 17 years on YouTube, I've never once had someone come to my home and vaguely threaten me. Sniper Wolf needs to be deplatformed. This makes me uncomfortable. And anytime anyone calls for someone to be deplatformed, um, that makes me uncomfortable. I understand where he's coming from, and I I guess I'm not going to shed any tears over it, but it's just always like, ooh, I don't know. Um, YouTube has literal predators still on this. I'm pretty sure um, there were many, many claims about uh, James Charles, for example. I'm pretty sure he's still on YouTube. Um there are a lot of people that fit the right demographic that can get, you know, have all the wildest claims in the world against them and YouTube doesn't remove them. The deep platforming, you know, people saying she just ended her career. I don't know. I don't know. I would be absolutely shocked to the, to my, I would be shocked if YouTube did anything. I mean, it wasn't even that long ago when YouTube tweeted out, you know, tweeted out a, uh, oh my God, this is so cool. Like, this is our number one creator. Yeah. Sniper Wolf is the creator of our dreams. And then it got, and this was in June of this year. This is like two months ago, they're promoting. And now, of course, it got community noted. SS Sniper Wolf recently doxed Jack Douglas, which is in a clear violation of YouTube's community guidelines. Um, I mean, uh, again, I, I think it's probably enough to say, you know, it's close enough, especially show up at somebody's house or whatever in the middle of the night. And I, and I try to just look at the situation as if, if a man had showed up at her house, if a man had showed up at her house, live streaming it and said, let's talk and showed pictures of the front of her house, they would have already been banned. So I think if you look at it that way, you look at the standard um, you know, they're probably going to, I don't know. I, I don't know what they're going to do. I still don't think they're going to ban her. They're making a lot of money on her channel. A lot. 35 million subscribers, daily, uh, uploads. 
But then again, Jack is not a small creator either. He's got 5 million. Um, and you have some other big creators weighing in. Asmongold puts Sniper Wolf on blast amid Jack's film's doxing drama. You know, again, look, I've had people show up at my house. I don't make whole videos about it because it just encourages more people to do it because they get a rise out of you. Um, it's it's creepy, it's sad, and someone's going to get hurt. Uh, you know, it's very simple. Like, you just don't go to people's houses uninvited. And that's goes for just basically everybody. Um, but you see... Again, Asmongold writing, Sniper Wolf situation is unacceptable. Anyone who uses their platform to dox and put a person's family in physical danger deserves to be deplatformed. Uh, again, this is an unironic line in the sand and one that should never be crossed. You know, I don't know. Um, her justification for all of this is that he made a bunch of videos mocking her. Uh, that's not a good enough reason. It's also not harassment. It's not, you know, he's not all this stuff where she said, oh, well, he's harassing me. This is, no, he's not. He's making videos. You're a lol cow. He's milking you uh, for views and money. Um, but this would be a massive story if, if she got deplatformed. Honestly, it would be, you see, delusional team YouTube, you up, got time to ban a literal stalker. I mean, they're getting tagged in these tweets that have 100,000 likes. They know. Like Team YouTube knows, and it's going to be really interesting to see if they ban. A lot of people out there are, you know, saying, "Oh, it's over, it's over," blah 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 blah. I don't know. You know, it would take a lot, I think, for YouTube to ban this chick. A lot. Now, again, if the situation were reversed, he'd already be banned. But at the end of the day, these are two super rich YouTubers who I'm sure Jack never really felt like he was in any kind of physical danger from her. But the issue is, where it gets complicated, is that among her 5 million simp followers, how many of them are could be a psychopath now that shows up at his house because he thinks they think it's okay? That's the, that's the logical next step, right? Like, she's not going to do anything. He's not going to do anything. But you never know. One of their simp fans. Now, what's going to happen when one of Jack's fans shows up at her house? And then things that start out as stupid internet drama get escalated beyond a point of no return. It is creepy, um, you know, and I would see YouTube demonetize this dangerous creator. If YouTube does anything, it'll be a temporary demonetization. That's what I'm guessing. That would be, and then they quietly reinstate it. That's, that's, that's my guess, but we'll have to wait and see, I guess, if they do anything at all. I'm not holding my breath. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe down below, and we'll talk to you again real soon.